If you've ever gone to sign up for a certain type of job or join a service or you've been having training and your mother had one really specific concern about something happening to you or you doing this certain thing during your training and you said to your mother, it's never going to happen, don't worry. And then when you joined, it did happen. Hit like and subscribe. So, today we are doing a really quick video on the Queen's Beasts state of play and update. So, let's open our Queen's Beast box. Oh, what have we got here? We've got Missing Queen's Beasts. Now, I made a video um, quite some time ago about these quarter ounce Queen's Beasts, which is a collection from the Royal Mint. If you don't know, there's 10 of them. Um, and uh, it's the only thing I've ever collected in, in uh, coin collecting, stacking. You know, it's the only collection I've tried to, um, from start to finish, I'm going to finish this collection by hook or by crook. Now, um, so current state of play is, um, just to recap, we have the 2016 Lion of England, the Griffin of Wales 2017, the Dragon of Wales 2017, the Unicorn of Scotland 2017, Black Bull of Clarence, I think that's 2017 as well, the Falcon of the Plantagenets, and that is 2019, I think. And then we have the Yale of the Air Force, oh boy, 2019. And then we have the White Horse of Hanover, 2020. So, uh, we're missing a couple. Now, it just so happens that there was a delivery this morning. I'll do a cheesy unboxing or unpackaging. And inside here... Better be. Well, I think it is. It's, it looks like some kind of coin. It's been very well wrapped up. And we have, God, we have the White Lion of Mortimer 2020. Now, this has been really difficult to get a hold of this actually. Um, does anybody know why it's so difficult to get hold of? Um, or is it just me? I mean, it probably is something. Um, I purchased this online and I'm not going to get it out of the capsule. I mean, it's, it is what it is. A quarter ounce Queen's Beast. Um, and we're going to stick it right here in the order. So... We only have one slot left for the White Greyhound of Richmond. And then we're done. So we have two and a half ounces of gold, hopefully, at the end of this. Um, let's get a bit closer up there on the nose. Um, and then, yeah, that'll be it. I mean, it's going to be, might be a bit of an anti-climax for me, actually. Um... I guess the question is uh, what to do with this. I mean, normally I'm going to stick this, you know, put it away in the attic for five to ten years. But I mean, just looking at prices, I mean, what we've got here is two and a half ounces of gold when it's complete. And um, two and a half ounces of gold now, today, October the 12th, is going to, if you went online to buy a spot, yeah, went online, so I went to buy, you know, from a bullion dealer online. And the online price, the online spot price, is about nineteen nineteen, so that would be four thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars, give or take. Um, four thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. That's without any premium on these, and that's about three thousand six hundred pounds. Um, the question, my question to you is that is. Uh, that's just the spot price. So, really, um, now the, the problem is just re, just backtracking here. At the beginning of it all, 2016 line, I paid nearly half the price 
to acquire this uh, compared to this uh, white line of Mortimer. It's insane. Just goes to show how much it's gone up. You know, if only I'd known and bothered and paid more attention at the time a couple of years ago and just bought more of these and, you know, it's very stupid. Very stupid of me to say, but it's just, it's just experience. You know, everyone's been in this, this boat uh, where they should have bought more, done more. You know, it's uh, it's just as you get more experience, you just, you know, learn. And hopefully, you know, say it's mistakes a bit harsh. Um, you know, you just, I don't know, it's about seizing the moment and seeing that these things are going to be a great collection. You know, early on, it was pretty clear six months in they were going to be good. And I should have just bought more. Um, but there we go. I've got what I've got. I'm happy. I'll be, to be grateful. We've got, I've got these. Um, the question is, my question to you is, is, do you think this collection is worth significantly more like this? You know, um, is anyone who's interested in this easily just collected all 10 of these, you know, going to get all 10 and that'll be no problem at all. Or is it, you know, a bit more effort than, um, you know, it, it seems to actually get your hands on 10 and be nice if they were one ounce um but there we go hindsight's another that would have been a fair old amount to lay out you know i suppose once you go into a collection i wasn't sure whether it was going to be very good or not um you know it is what it is i suppose um so really yeah so i need to white greyhound of richmond and then we're done and yeah so i mean are we saying that if you just close this lid now and go and stick this on eBay, we could have 20% premium on these. Um, you know, we're looking at, you know, is that is that a good thing to do? Started collecting these two years ago. They've gone up in value. I've had to pay more for the last few, but it's still overall a profit on this. I mean, you know, if some people trade gold like this, I'm in it for the long term. Um, is this a good idea to sell them now? While the obviously, obviously gold's not an all-time high, but it's still um, at its all-time high levels around 1915, 1920. You know, I could make a nice profit on this. Some people would just sell this. They take that money and reinvest it and buy something maybe bigger and better. You know, but you know, so it is always a. You know, it is hard to always just hang on to something sometimes when you know that you've you've done reasonably well and done your research and what your purchase turned out to be good, and um, you know there's there's a profit to be made there. But like I say, you might lament the fact if you sold them now and uh, realise that the gold price went crazy in this world of COVID and endless money printing that it could triple in the next year. You know the and when I think of the downside, what are the chances of these becoming worth, you know, half of what they're worth now? I'd say there's a lot less chance than that than them becoming worth three times what they're worth now. So based on that logic, if you don't need the money and you're happy to sit on your investment, then there's no point in selling it, you know, just for the sake of it. Um, so that's it really. It's just some thoughts. Um you know, let me know what you think. Should you, is there a point where you should, uh, you know, lighten up? And, um, you know, it depends, you know, how you, you, you might be a gold dealer and you'd be like, wow, yeah, this is insane. I'll just go and get the next one as soon as possible. And I'll just flip them in on some forum or eBay. Somebody to pick this up as a set, you know, it saves a lot of hassle for somebody to get hold of these if they want them. Should I get these graded? You know, is it worth getting them graded? Probably not. I think they're all good coins, though. I don't really know. I don't really think that would add that much to it. Um, but anyway, so I'll stop rambling. Let me know what you think. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that quick update. Any comments or questions, leave them on YouTube. See you soon.